This is part 48 of JavaScript tutorial. In this video, we'll first discuss the basics of regular expressions and then look at some of the resources and tools available to learn, write and test regular expressions. First, let's look at some of the basic regular expressions. And to test our basic regular expressions, I found an excellent tool called Expresso. And here is the URL from where you can download it. So once you visit that website, so here is that website and on this page expresso download.htm um, you can actually download the expresso setup 3.msi and then uh, you know double click on that and follow the on screen instructions to install it i've installed this tool already on my machine and here it is notice that at the moment we are on test mode and we've got four windows here so this window right here is where we write our regular expression and this sample text window contains the sample text uh, you know, against which we want to test our regular expression and the results will be displayed in the search results window and here we have the regular expression analyzer so let's look at an example now, now let's say for example in this text right here I want to find the word expression so I want to find the occurrences of the word expression. So I simply type the word expression. So this is a regular expression by itself. So I want to find this word expression. So I type the word and then I click run match. Notice that here on the status bar it says there are five matches. So in this entire sample text there are five occurrences of this word expression. Now, that's the first occurrence. Look at this. As I select you know, the result here, it shows within the sample text where it has found a match. Now, look at this. Expression here is actually part of this bigger word, expressions. Now, let's say we want to do a whole match word. Okay, We want this expression to be you know, a whole word. If that's the case, we have to define a word boundary. So, backslash b at the beginning and at the end indicates that we want to find this word expression as a whole word not as part of another word here expression is part of this word expressions so now this backslash b at the beginning and the uh, at the end of the word defines a word boundary so now when we click run match notice that we only get four matches of this word expression and you know all the four occurrences notice that expression is a word by itself it's a whole word and not part of any other word like expressions now slash d in regular expression indicates a digit now let's say for example i want to find all occurrences of numbers or digits okay within this sample text i simply type slash d and look at this when we click run match it finds all digits all numbers within this sample text right now let's say for example i want to find a five digit number okay so i can include five d's like this backslash d backslash d backslash d five times now when i click run match notice that i get all the numbers which have at least five digits so when i select 95706 that's the number there look at this this 800 is not selected because it does not have five digits in it and 9020 Right, so we get all the numbers which have got at least five digits. Now let's say we want to get all the numbers which has exactly five digits. So if that's the case, we want that number to exist as a whole number. We don't want, for example, if you look at this three four three four five, you know, it has got five digits and it's part of this bigger number right here. So we don't want that. Okay, we want a number which has exactly five digits within it. So if that is the case, again, we can define a word boundary like this, slash b and slash b. So we want this five digit number, you know, to contain exactly five numbers separated by a word boundary. So now when we run the match, notice that we only have two occurrences. So there we have a number with exactly five digits and there we have another number with exactly five digits. 
Now notice here slash day is repeated five times. Now since we want a five digit number that's easy to type but let's assume let, uh, you know we want a 30 digit number typing slash d 20 times is tedious error prone and it also makes your uh, regular expression long enough. So to avoid these unnecessary repetitions we use curly braces in regular expressions. So if you want to say I want to have five repetitions of any digit then you know I include slash d and then include a set of curly braces and within that we specify number five. So slash d and five within curly braces indicates that we want this uh, slash d to repeat it five times. So now when we run the match notice that we get um, you know the numbers we just got exactly five digits. Now we can also rewrite this another way. Um, we can also say instead of saying backslash d to in indicate a digit we can also use square brackets and within square brackets I'm going to say I want to find any character in the range 0 to 9 with exactly 5 repetitions meaning I want a 5 digit number a number which contains exactly 5 digits it has got the same meaning as the example before so now when we run the match again we should get two occurrences of a 5 digit number within this sample text um, now let's say we want to find all the words with exactly five letters then you know let's say within this range A to Z that is small letter A to Z and capital letter A to Z I want to find any characters with exactly uh, five repetitions so I want all the words which have got exactly five characters so now when we execute this notice that we get all words which has got exactly five letters match after match again click etc so there are 37 matches brackets in regular expressions are used to find a range of characters for example if you include a to z in square brackets it implies that we want to find any of the characters you know in the range from a to z similarly i want to find any of the digits in the range from a to z a pipe b within parenthesis means we want to find any of the characters a or b so these are the very basics of regular expressions. If you want to learn more about regular expressions, here are some of the resources. Now this uh, link right here from Mozilla uh, has got you know very good resources to learn the basics of regular expressions. So once you visit this that URL and once you scroll down, notice that here we have a table which specifies the special characters within the regular expression and the purpose and meaning of that special character. So for example if we scroll down notice that slash D matches a digit character and that's equivalent to 0 to 9 within square brackets. So here you've got a lot of basics of regular expressions. Now once you're comfortable with these special characters then you can use this tool expressor and you can start building your own regular expressions using this tool. Now so far we have seen how to use this test mode. So we write our regular expression and then test it. You can also design your regular expression. So you can go to the design mode and let's say for example I want to find, uh, let's actually delete this which is already there and let's say I want to find a five digit number so a number which has got exactly or at least five digits okay um, I can you know a digit which has got at least five you know digits within that number so I can click on this insert notice that it inserts there and then now when I go ahead and run match so basically it's returning all numbers which have got at least five digits within it 
okay so using this design mode you can actually build your regular expressions so you can specify how many repetitions you want you can specify the position etc and here there's another tab called expression library so this has got you know commonly used um, regular expressions for example you want to find all email addresses so I can select that so here is the regular expression and uh, in the sample text so when I click run match notice that within this sample text there are three occurrences of um, you know an email so my name at host.com that's a valid email all these three are valid emails similarly if you want to find all URLs you know simply double click on URLs which is going to insert that and then again run this button it is going to show all the URLs within that sample text and here is your regular expression So very useful tool, Expresso. And there is another website called Regular Expression Library. So this website has got, you know, loads of regular expressions. And let's say, for example, you want a regular expression for email. Simply type the word email and click search. And you will get the different regular expressions to validate or match an email. So basically, for example, if you look at this regular expression right here, it says that it doesn't allow numbers in the domain name. So if you have numbers in the domain name, then this will regular expression will not match that. So if, it, if that's what is your requirement, then probably you can use this regular expression. And if you look at this regular expression, um, you know, it allows numbers in the domain name. So if that's what is your requirement, you can use that. So there is a regular expression, there's a description of that, an example of what matches and what does not match. And depending upon your requirement, you can pick, pick and choose the one uh, that meets your needs. Okay, so you have hundreds and thousands of regular expressions here. Thank you for listening and have a great day.